Ever wanted to optimize your marketing spend but weren't quite sure where to start? Well, in today's video, we're gonna take care of all of that. So in this five part series, we're going to be covering a lot of stuff. But in today's videos, we're specifically going to be covering a marketing optimization walkthrough. Now, the other videos are really going to be focused around building up this example so you can try it out yourself. We'll cover building a sales cube, building an income dashboard, prototyping our linear programming model, and last but not least, integrating that back into planning analytics. But today, we're really going to be focusing on a marketing optimization walkthrough. So what's that involved? Well, today we're really going to be covering a problem space. So what exactly is it that we're trying to optimize? We're going to take a look at how it works. And last but not least, we're going to actually see it live in action. So what is our problem? Problem space. Well, we've got three key things in a linear programming model. We have our goals, we have our variables, and we have our constraints. So our goal is to maximize our potential profit. In this case, we're going to refer to it as rebate income. Now our variables or our levers that we can move are really what products we allocate budget to, how much we allocate to each one of those products, and what day do we actually spend that money. Now, ultimately, our core constraint is that we have a demand ceiling, but we also have a fixed marketing budget. So ideally, what we wanna to try to do is move all those levers within our constraints to maximize our end profit. So how are we doing it? Well, first up, we're gonna extract data from our planning analytics cube. We're gonna bring that inside of Watson Studio, prototype a decision optimization model inside of a Jupyter Notebook, and then we're going to push the results back into our planning analytics cube. If we get time, we'll integrate this back into PA so that you can run it all with a click of a button. Alrighty, so given the large majority of this video is going to be based inside of planning analytics, we're going to start out inside of planning analytics workspace. Now, I've already got a book set up, so what we're going to do is step into that book, and it's called Pushing PA Further. So if we enter into that workbook, what we should see originally is a really nice menu screen. Now there's two key tabs that we're gonna focus on inside of this workbook. Those are product planning and optimization. So if we go on ahead and step into product planning, what we'll get is a bit of a high level visualization of our rebate income dashboard. Now, in this case, our main goal, if we step back into it, was to make as much profit as possible and the levers that we've got to move are our marketing budget or how much marketing budget should we allocate. So in this particular case, we've capped our marketing budget to $50,000. We then need to work out what product should we allocate it to and what day should we spend it. Now, we've obviously got some constraints. There's a maximum amount people will buy. Plus, we've also got that $50,000 uh, marketing budget constraint as well. So if we step into a product planning view, we've got a fair bit of information here. So we've got our stores and we've also got our products. So if we take a look at a single store and a single product, so we've got a whole bunch of different accounts. Now let's start out with the most important line item. That's our rebate income line down here. And this is effectively the number that we're trying to optimize. So how much effective profit are we generating based on how much marketing dollars we're spending. So our rebate income line item is a function of our base sales, our new sales, and our rebate rate. So if we actually trace this cell and open up our rule up here, you can see it's effectively our new sales plus our base sales, so account 4995 plus 4999, multiplied by our rebate rate, which is account 4994. So what we effectively wanna to try to do is maximize our base sales and our new sales in relation to our rebate rate so that we can maximize our final net profit. Now, in this particular scenario, our base sales is pretty much fixed. It's almost like what our contractual arrangement, so it's gonna be pretty steady income. But our new sales, on the other hand, are dollars that we can sort of influence. And if we trace our new sales, our new sales relates to our marketing spend. So it's effectively our marketing spend down here. So account 4997 multiplied by our return on ad spend. So what we're effectively saying is that for every dollar invested in marketing, we're going to generate Y dollars of sales. So if we take a look at our values here, so if we take a look at this particular month here, we're basically saying that if we invest $566.19, we're going to generate $566.19 multiplied by 1.17, which is effectively at $662.44. But this is pretty arbitrary what we've done here. So we've just gone and allocated some marketing spend all across the board. It's not really optimized. And if we take a look at our top level values, 
we're effectively generating $89,138 of net profit. But again, this marketing spend's been allocated pretty randomly. And if we take a look at our optimization tab now, this is increasingly evident. So you can see that we've got $89,138 of rebate income, and this is pretty much spread pretty evenly across the majority of products and across the majority of days. But we don't actually know if that's an optimal spread. And this is where linear programming and IBM decision optimization comes in because it can really help us to optimize where we allocate this budget. Now, what we're going to do is step into Watson Studio. So here I've actually got a pre-built Python notebook that's actually gonna to try to optimize our spend. So we're not gonna to spend too much time going through what's in this notebook. We're going to cover that in the next couple of videos. So what we wanna do though is run through this notebook. So let's quickly step through and run each of these cells. Now, what it's effectively doing is it's pulling data out of planning analytics. It's running an optimization to see if it, there's a better way to allocate our marketing spend. And then it's pushing that data back into our dashboard. So now if we step back to our dashboard and refresh, you can actually see that by just moving some marketing budget around, we've managed to increase our rebate income or our final profit figure from 89,138 to 93,918. So by using decision optimization, which is effectively prescriptive analytics, we've managed to significantly improve our rebate income by reallocating our marketing budget. So if we wanted to, we could also run this directly from our planning analytics workspace dashboard. So rather than going out to Watson Studio, running it there and then coming back and refreshing, we could actually just trigger this directly from our planning analytics workspace dashboard. So first up, let's quickly reload our baseline. Awesome, so that's done. Now, if we wanted to, we could actually optimize that from here. So I've got an action button called optimize budget. So if I actually run that, this is actually going to go off, run a script and try to optimize our marketing budget, similar to what we saw when we ran it inside of Watson Studio. And if we refresh that now, again, you can see same result, but rather than going all the way to Watson Studio, running it there and coming back, we've now done it all directly from planning analytics workspace. And that about wraps up today's video. So let's take a quick recap as to all the stuff that we covered. We first up evaluated our marketing problem. We then took a look at how it was all gonna to fit together and all the moving pieces and building blocks. And last but not least, we saw the marketing optimization problem live in action. And that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Until next time, peace.